Good morning, good morning, good morning. What's going on, guys? Yeah, Look that? who I got. <laughs> I believe that this is the first time that I've had Country Road Cure on Keeping It Real. I think so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Which is crazy because these guys right here keep it real. So I felt like, you know, they should probably be on here a little more often. Come on. <laughs> it is a cold one today, guys. I know it doesn't look like it because sister here isn't bundled up to her ears, you know, I, like I, she I, normally I, is. <laughs> yeah, I was this morning. But... The sun has uh, finally came out. It's actually a little bit later today. It's probably closer to noon yeah. right now. So the sun's been out for a little while, but it's still pretty brisk. Um, they had to run to town this morning because uh, I broke Uber. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually out here yesterday. I was supposed to be doing some uh, tractor work for these guys. We did a little barter in about, what, eight months ago? About that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. about yeah. eight months ago. Whenever they was doing their laundry room there, they decided that they was going to go electric instead of gas. And they still had a gas dryer from Vegas. And uh, they said, hey, do you want it? And I was like, yeah. And I said, how about some tractor work? And they said, well, come on. <laughs> but come, the and <laughs> come and get it. But uh problem is, is they weren't quite ready and didn't know exactly uh, what they was going to do and where they wanted to move stuff. And uh, as y'all know, I brought the tractor out or Gary came and picked the tractor up for the trusses this past weekend. So Uber's already here and they got a better idea of what they're wanting to do. So I said, well, why don't we just go ahead and knock that out while we're here? Started on it yesterday, worked for about what 20 minutes, maybe yeah, 20 <laughs> about minutes or 20 so. minutes. Shut Uber off, and then it completely died. And what it is is there's a fuse in the front by the radiator that keeps breaking. It's happened twice so far. I'm gonna have to research figure that out. But Anthony ran up to town today and uh, got a new fuse, so we're getting a little bit of a late start. But we're going to show you a little bit about what we're going to do. I'm not showing it all to you because this video will be coming out on Come On Homestead and Come On. <laughs> but uh, we're going to walk around. Anthony's got to feed the chickens and all of that good stuff. And uh, we're going to walk around and hang out like a hair and a biscuit here on the 41.36. Come on. Yeah. Late start. Today. Late start. That's okay. Yeah, the ladies are... Uh, That's all right. The ladies are going to be like, hey, where's my grocers? Hey, I'm pretty there sure I already heard some eggs this morning. I, yeah. I heard it twice already. I'm going to go check, but I'm, I'm gonna pretty go check sure. Right now. Hey, you know what? That might be the new thing. Well, Feed them late. That way they earn their food. Yeah. <laughs> I, already, I already told them that um, this freeloading is over. <laughs> it's over. It's time to produce. This ain't no flop house around here. <laughs> All right? So, yeah. But they're already getting excited by this. The oh, yeah. That, they, are, they can hear it. Yeah, but, they're already... Starting to move and groove. And this one right here, guys, old Miss Jana here. I have almost been here for a solid year. Matter of fact, next year is my one year anniversary here at the cabin. And Jana has barked at me for about eight months of that, nine months at least. Every time I come over, act like, acts like she has never seen me before every single time i come over so i have made it my personal mission to get jana to like me and i have accomplished that guys about two months ago me and old jana we turned the corner didn't we oh we turned the corner see now she doesn't bark at me she comes up to me she likes her pets it only took 10 months that's all it took just 10 months for me and this guy right here to become friends but now we are friends. Now, I will tell you, Jaina typically is a man hater. She don't like men. And it took me like uh, 10 months, 10 months to break her. Her fault. <laughs> Have you been talking bad things about guys maybe, to Jaina? Yeah, maybe. She's that, I hate men vibe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think sister would be in that kitchen cooking up those good groceries and be like man i can't believe that he done did this and that and all this other stuff and now jana is a man hater <laughs> and those two right there they got more energy than all of us put together the old wild childs of the 41.36 that one right there yep that one's personality is just like her sisters wide open Good job, ladies. Oh, got two eggs? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, one of them's still warm. There was one in there when I opened the thing from running out. 
Yeah, when oh, we yeah. just walked out there, like, what? we out. we heard them singing. Yeah. These are copper marons. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. They're starting to, you can see like a film on them. This one's probably like a, that might be an olive egg. I don't know, this one looks like a golden egg. Yeah, that one's nice. Yeah. It's fat. I can't wait to get chickens. Coming soon, <laughs> coming yeah. soon. I'm actually going to start out with chickens in the goat pen. Well, where are we going to give all our eggs to now? If we get chickens too. <laughs> this is true. Yeah. This is yeah, true. You can't give them to Melanie and them. Yeah. Yeah, they got chickens. Yeah. yeah. Give them your mom. Yeah. Because, you know, my mom has got more eggs than everybody. Yeah. She, That's she right. gave Melanie a five gallon bucket full of eggs and Dawn, my sister. Oh, wow. Yeah. She's like, man, I'm getting like 30 eggs a day and I only got 20 hens. That's the way it was in Florida for me. I had uh, 30, I think 36 chickens and uh, and five ducks. So I was getting like three duck eggs a day, it seemed like, and like a whole bunch. I was selling them at work and giving them away oh, and all cool. kinds of stuff. Be well, nice, guys. Well, my yeah. mom's got uh, ducks, too, and her ducks are laying eggs. Yeah. She's got a male duck. And I love I'm duck like, eggs. I'm good with that. I love duck eggs. Okay. And you probably like duck eggs. Okay. They say that duck eggs are the best eggs for bacon oh. because they're a lot richer and stuff and, and fuller. Yeah, yeah. And they say that it just makes your cakes fluff better and all that other yeah. stuff. Like duck eggs are the best eggs to cook with or bake with, they say. So, might want to look into some ducks. Yeah, I'd like to get some ducks. I love ducks. The only thing about ducks are man, they're messy. Yeah. They're messy. I had my ducks with my chickens, and oh my God, man, it made having chickens a pain in the butt because I was having to clean the water every single day and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if I do ducks, I'd like to do ducks. Um, I'd like to do a turkey also, but yeah. ducks, I'd, I'd probably, I would probably make a separate pen. Oh, yeah, absolutely. For them, that they can get all dirty and nasty and clean the water out and leave the chickens alone. They get along. Yeah. You know, the. Yeah. Well, maybe what I will do is maybe I'll get ducks first, being as you already have chickens. And then we can trade eggs for a little while. And I can kind of master the duck pen yep. for a minute. You know, be the be the test dummy. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. Trial and error. <laughs> because I actually do, from having ducks before, I had a design that I had in Florida that I was thinking about doing. I want to do like one of the kids swimming pool, which I actually have a smaller one at the house right now that Eclipse outgrew. And I want to do rock around the pool. Yep. That way when they're in there and they're doing all their stuff that they do to mess up the water, um, it's rock all the way around and not mud and dirt and all that. And I think that'll help clean the area up a little bit. Probably will. You'll still have to clean, clean the pool and stuff from time to time, but it won't be every day. Yeah. And they won't be using their water to... Because that's what they do is, you know, they yeah. splash it everywhere because if you, something about if ducks don't get their beaks and stuff like wet or whatever, they can get sick and uh, really? I don't know. It's something like that. I haven't really re researched ducks. It's been a while. It's been like two years since I've had them, but it was something like that. They have to tell me in the comments if I'm wrong or right yeah. or, or if I'm in the right ballpark, something to do with their beaks or something and the dirt and the dust and they got to constantly like hmm. clean all of that. Hmm. I so, thought it was mainly just for their feathers. To yeah. clean their feathers well, the and stuff. And the oil. Yeah. yeah. No, that makes sense too about their beaks. It does. Yeah, yeah I think it it's something because I know they got like the two holes right there or something. It yeah. does yeah. something. I can't remember mm -hmm. what it was, but I knew it was important to always keep fresh water in there so they yeah. could. But it also makes a lot of work <laughs> yeah my mom's changing her water like twice a week yeah yeah i, I was mean, doing easily. it every day i had the same kind of chicken waters and stuff that you got and they would just straight there'd be mud and just i mean <laughs> every day i'm talking about her pool oh yeah her pool yeah yeah she's changing it like twice a week sometimes yeah but it probably gets muddy in yeah it does. she's just like i can't clean it every single day and they'll be all right yeah. little buddy yeah i think uh i think we're putting the rock around it and, and kind of sinking it, it, it at least cut down because they won't have all the dirt around yeah, them yeah. to actually do it. It's going to get dirty. That makes sense. There ain't no way around that. Mm -mm. And uh, if you put some kind of koi or something in there, they'll probably eat it. <laughs> so right. I don't know if that'll work. <laughs> but guys, this is going to be a pretty quick one. Uh, we got to get to work. And uh, the chickens are fed. They're ready to go. I'm ready to go. And I got to go live tonight, guys. Six o'clock Central Standard Time on Come On Homestead, and I will be live. So I need to get this project done, get my booyakaka back to the house <laughs> so I can get everything set up. And me and you guys will hang out like a hair in a biscuit tonight. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all want to say anything to them before you go? Hey. Stay motivated. <laughs> Stay motivated. <laughs> oh, Y'all got the daily vibe, right? Yeah. Yep. yep. What's y'all's vibe today? Uh, great. Great? Usually it's pretty good. 
Yeah. It's a good working vibe today. A good working vibe? Good working vibe. You want to dance. You want to dance? It's a dancing vibe. It's a, I ain't dancing, dancing guys. Vibe. I ain't even going to lie to you. Put some music on. We'll be dancing, shaking yeah. our rumps around. We'll no. watch him dance because I'm going to tell you right now, I am one sore what's happening <laughs> today. But we're going to make it happen. So until we see each other again, guys, y'all guys keep it real. Do something nice for somebody today. Reach out to somebody that you ain't spoke to in a minute. Just tell them that you're thinking about them and see where it takes you. See y'all tomorrow, guys.